Get ready to get focused. Today we're going to talk about how to get the most out of your writing sessions. By the way, my name is Brandon McNulty. I'm the author of Bad Parts, also the author of Entry Wounds, and welcome to my writing channel. Someone recently asked me to do a video on how to write if you have ADHD, and I'm by no means an expert on that, so I figured I would just simplify things and do a video on how to focus no matter what type of writer you are. So we're going to talk about this today, and I'm going to give you nine tips for staying focused as you write your stories. First tip is to eliminate distractions. Actions. And this is obvious advice, but it's also necessary. And the thing is, when you're creating your writing environment, you want to make this environment as boring as possible. You don't want a scenario where there's interesting things going on around you when you're writing. The only interesting thing that should be happening in your writing environment is the writing itself. So take stock in, in what's going on around you. Is there a TV that's on that's showing something that you want to watch? Is there a radio that's playing a podcast or music that you want to listen to? Turn those things off, get rid of them, whatever it takes. Also, keep in mind your cell phone. Your cell phone is always going to be popping up with notifications. I would suggest putting it in a different room entirely. If you need your cell phone, put it in focus mode, mute it, whatever it is. But find ways to make your environment as boring as possible so you can focus. Second tip is to remind yourself of your long-term writing goal. And this means the project that you're working on right now. You need to ask yourself two questions about it. What are you working on and why does this project matter to you? Obviously, you need to know what you're working on because that'll help you focus. It'll help you narrow things down on how you need to attack the project. But you also need to answer the question, why? Why does it matter to you? Why does it matter on a personal level? Why did you choose to write this particular story? Is it important to you? Are you working out some issues in your life? Or is it a dream you've always had? Figure out that why and let it drive you over the course of the writing process. Third tip is to define your short-term writing goal each time that you sit down to write. And this is very important. Every time you sit down to write, you should have a plan. You should know what you want to accomplish in this particular writing session. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It could just be that you want to write 2,000 words, or you want to write a scene or two, or you want to write five scenes. Maybe you want to edit five scenes. Maybe you want to fix a plot hole. Maybe you want to remake a character so that they're a better fit for the story. I mean, there's plenty of possibilities, but when you sit down to write, you need to have some specific goal in mind. If you have that specific goal, you can achieve it in the writing session. Fourth tip is to give yourself a deadline. Now, not everybody likes deadlines, but if you do commit to a deadline, sometimes they can make miracles happen. For instance, when I wrote my book Entry Wounds, when I wrote the second draft, I did it in the span of a month and a half. And that was just from basically nothing to something that was readable quality. And I was under a deadline because I wanted to submit it to this one contest. So be aware of things like that. Look for different contests that have certain deadlines. Maybe you have like short story submissions, uh, things like that. Anything where you have to hit a certain certain cutoff date. That can really motivate you and keep you hungry. Now, if you can't find any of those external deadlines, you can also impose some deadlines on yourself. Maybe say to yourself, well, I want to write a novel within two months or within three months or whatever's a realistic time frame. But you want to challenge yourself. You don't want to make things too comfortable. And then when you do figure out that date, tell a friend or two about it. Tell a friend that, hey, I want to have this book written by the end of June. Make sure you hold me to it. You know, maybe even put a scenario together where you want to send the first couple chapters to your friend by the end of June. So, Keep those things in mind because if you do set a deadline and you do commit to it, great things can happen. Tip number five is to put a reward system in place. And this is kind of like a deadline, but it's a lot more fun. And the thing with this is what you want to do, you want to figure out what your long-term goal is, and then at the end of that long-term goal, offer yourself a reward if you complete it. So, for instance, I'm releasing a new book at the end of this month, and when I wrote the second or third draft of it, I made a promise to myself that once I was done with that draft, and once I sent it to one of my beta readers, I would allow myself to buy a PS5. And that was that was the reward at the end of the journey for me, and it motivated me, and it kept me focused because I wanted to play Doom Eternal without load time. So little things like that can keep you focused over time, and even with shorter term goals. Maybe if you have a scenario where you sit down to write one day and you say to yourself, okay, as soon as I get this writing done, maybe I'll watch an episode of my favorite TV show, or as soon as I get this writing done, maybe I'll go for a run or a walk or something that you enjoy doing. Try to find different ways of rewarding yourself, something that you, you, know, you can strive for, whether it's short short term or long term. Tip number six is to write a finish note for yourself. And what this is, it's really simple. Grab some sticky notes. At the top of the first note, just write the word finish. Then what you'll do, you'll peel off that note, stick it on your laptop, stick it on your computer monitor, stick it in your writing space. And whenever your mind is wandering during the writing process, just look at that word finish. Because what that is, that's a reminder from your past self. It's a reminder from your past self telling your present self to stay on track with the day's writing. 
And then one other thing I like to do with these finished notes, once I'm done with the day's writing, once I accomplish my daily writing goal, I, I like to write down the time in which I finished it. So if I finish at noon, I would write down 12 o'clock. And then the next day, when I write down the word finish again, I'll try to beat that time from the day previous. It's kind of like beating your high score. It keeps things interesting, it, it lets you have a little fun, and it also keeps you focused. Tip number seven is the half and a half timer. And what this is, you want to figure out how much time you want to devote to writing today. So let's say you have a good day ahead of you and you want to devote two hours to your writing today. So what you're going to do, you're going to set a timer for one hour, which is half of that two hours. And once you set that timer, you're going to sit down and write. And the only thing you can do is write. You cannot do anything else. You can't check your emails. You can't goof off. You can't bother your friends. Nothing like that. You can only write for that next hour. Then, once that hour is up, you have half time. And this is when you can spend five to ten minutes doing whatever you want. You want to check your emails, bother your friends, whatever. You can do that for five to ten minutes. But then you have to get back and you have to go for the second half. You have to do this the second hour, and all you can do for that second hour is write. Tip number eight is to choose appropriate writing music. And when I say appropriate, I'm talking about music that fits you as a writer, that fits the story you're currently working on, and that also helps you focus and concentrate. It's very important that you hit on those things. And what I do oftentimes, I listen to a YouTube channel called Green Red Productions, and they have a lot of specific focus music that is designed to help your mind stay in tune while you're working on a project. Uh, I'll link to them in the description below, but they have a lot of different like 10-hour videos that you can just pop on and listen to. In the past, I've also listened to various video game sounds tracks while I was writing. When I was writing bad parts, I listened to a lot of Silent Hill music and Metroid music, and that helped get me in the right vibe for that type of story. And I also, from time to time, sometimes when I need a boost, I will listen to like actual songs. I'm a big metal head, so I'll listen to some heavier stuff. And I, I tend to stray away from that, though, because I think whenever there's lyrics involved, it can kind of disrupt the thought process. So you have to figure out what works best for you and stick to it and make sure you're concentrating as you're listening to that music. And then finally, tip number nine is to learn to enjoy the writing process. And this is very important because when you work on a long-term story, novel, screenplay, whatever, you're going to spend a lot of time on that journey. And if you're only focusing on the end of it, if you're only thinking about the outcome, your work is going to suffer, you're going to become exhausted along the way, and you're going to give up. But if you learn to enjoy the process of actually putting that story together and getting to know your characters and testing out different plot events and seeing different scenes and approaching the story from different angles. If you learn to enjoy the process and approach it from different ways and find ways to have fun with it, you will achieve your goals. You will get through the entire journey from start to finish. If you want to write a story, it will happen. If you're just writing a story because you feel like you have to, you're going to struggle along the way. So I hope this helps. Question of the day, what is the number one thing that distracts you from your writing? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support the channel, please pick up a copy of either one of my books and be sure to leave reviews on Amazon. Bad Parts is great if you like small town horror. It's about people trading away their sick and injured body parts in order to get healthy again. And then Entry Wounds is great if you like thrillers. It's about a guy who picks up a haunted gun and he can't put it down until he kills six people with it. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And as always, remember to keep on writing.